Um, I'm doing the ask yourself this amazing atheist questions. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. We got ten minutes. I know. Does that sound like fun? Yes. No, it really doesn't, but it's something to do, right? It definitely is that. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Let's do something crazy. And these are seriously my honest Question opinion. One. Questions. Let's I mean, say the answers. you had to choose between your life exactly it is as it is right now. Nothing will get any better, nothing will get any worse. You will maintain the current level of quality in your life for the remainder of your life. Become president of the United States of America, but you will be assassinated one year before leaving office. Which do you choose? Uh, I would pick my life right now because it's it's okay. It's an okay life I live. It's pretty good. It's pretty great. I would not pick the presidency because I would end up screwing it all up. There would be no more presidency. I would end up becoming a dictator. Which would eventually get me shot and killed, assassinated. So yeah, I would pick the, I would pick the, the life right now, because if I were president, fucking shit would go downhill. The economy would be even worse. I would fucking take everything, just spend it. Wouldn't care about anything. Sell us off the Russians. I'd be terrible. I'd, I'd become a dictator. We'd be all living in communist communism. <laughs> be all in bread lines. Me having flags with my face on it. And be like, he is watching you. Yeah, like n imagine 1984 today. Like, yeah, think about that. Like, just think about that. Me on a poster with 1984 underneath it. Just, just picture that. That'd be with the president. The presidency of my day. It'd be awesome. Or just bad. Question number two. Would you rather be the greatest genius on earth, but never appreciated within your own lifetime, or considered a genius within your own lifetime, but thought of as a mediocre hack after you die? I want to be the genius now. They can talk shit about me when I'm dead, because I'm dead. It's like fucking, I'd be rich. Bitches, I can talk about shit. I wouldn't have to worry about it because I'd be, I'd be dead. The only thing I'd worry about is like the worms want to crawl out of my skull or in my skull. It's like, do I care? It's like I'm dead. Next question, sir, if you please. Question number three: Would you rather have an ugly sexual partner who was great in bed, fantastic in bed, but was so ugly that they were some? social embarrassment or would you rather have a lovely sexual partner who happened to be completely terrible in bed but made people envious of them Question. I would pick the ugly chick because you could build her self esteem up you could turn her like from an ugly duckling into a swan I mean come on and she's good in bed come on. you like take her to like one of those schools that teaches uh, how to Take her to one of those, uh, those training schools. <laughs> I mean, one of those, I mean, you could, like, t you could, I mean, you could probably, like, teach her. Build her up. Build her self-esteem up. Get her plastic surgery. All kinds of crazy shit with her. I mean, and she's good in bed, and your friends would be, like, asking, why are you with her? It's like, this sex is great. <laughs> like, like, ew. Like, and she does it with, with milk. She does amazing shit. With milk bottles, <laughs> like what the fuck does she do with milk bottles? It's a secret. Question <laughs> number four: Would you rather be the lead singer of an extremely popular but completely mediocre rock band, or something like Nickelback, or would you rather be the greatest poet to ever live with a small but dedicated fan following? Question number five: I would be in a band because I'll be. It'd be like, it'd be like raining pussy and money. Every day, it'd be like Christmas, raining pussy and money, and you'd be in a rock band. So yeah, it'd be awesome. I would be the rock band. Um, I wouldn't be the poet because nobody would like you. 
Except for like a couple people. They'd be weird. <laughs> weird hippies. Fucking hippies. Hippies, all the hippies get shot. <laughs> you are presented with two doors and three options. Option number one is to open the first door. Option number two is to open the second door. Option number three is to walk away. Behind one door is fame, fortune, the fulfillment of all your dreams. Behind the other door is an axe-wielding maniac who will chop you to pieces the second that you open the door. You don't know which of these things is behind which door. Do you choose to open a door or do you choose to walk away? Okay, I would walk away because if I pick the one door, the axe murdering psychopath will come out and kill me. It's like, so where are my hopes and dreams then? I'd be dead. I'd be fucking in the axe murderer's his door wall. It's like, it's like, where's my hopes and dreams then? So okay, I answered that question. Next question. Question number six: If by killing yourself, all of your enemies would be destroyed as well, would you kill yourself? No, because half the the internet and half the population be dead. It's like nobody, like half the population doesn't like black people. Come on. Question number seven: If you had to take a long road trip with either a Vietnam vet with a bad temper who kept a gun on his person at all times, or a conservative Christian who quietly judged everything you did, which would you choose? I would pick the Vietnam vet because he probably has awesome stories about Vietnam and how he killed Charlie. And if we get a psycho, a crazy, insane hitchhiker guy, he would use his gun on him. Come on, think about it. You know, thinking about that would just come up with a, an awesome movie title. Vietnam vet and a black guy driving together on the road. Probably get like, I don't know, Eddie Murphy. And Gary Busey. That'd be awesome. I, uh, they weren't 20, 24 hours. <laughs> Never mind. That'd be awesome, though. Awesome movie. And why. Question number eight. If you could obtain immortality by stomping a little girl's pet kitten to death before her crying eyes every Christmas Eve, would you do it? What? Yes. If I got immortality by by killing a kitten every Christmas morning, it'd be awesome. I'd walk in the room, I'd come in there, she'd open her gift, see the pet kitten, it it would be in the box, cause, well, fuck it. I'd take it out, snap his neck, and I'd fucking, as soon as she let out a tear, I'd be like, in your face, little girl! And I'd point down, and I'd fucking be like, yeah! You got owned! And I'd walk, I'd like fucking moonwalk out like that. I'd be like, ah! Yeah, and I fucking like just I'm a demigod, bitches, and like, slap, like yeah, like that. Mm, it'd be awesome, awesome Christmas for all, including me. It's like next Christmas, please. Question number nine: If you loved someone with all of your heart, and they hated everything about you, would you take ten years off of their life if it meant that they would love you in return? Okay, I would take the ten years off because they're fucking. They would be insane. So I would just take the ten years off. They would love me. Question number ten. If you died and went to hell and found that it was every bit as terrible as the evangelicals make it out to be. Eternal fire, eternal suffering, eternal pain. But the devil offered you a deal. He said that for every soul on earth that you can tempt towards damnation, you will experience a one year reprieve. From the agony of eternal hellfire, would you take his deal? I would take his deal, and I would get him so many souls, it would not be funny. I'd just be going around corrupting people. I'd get like school children, because school children, souls in hell? Oh, that's like fucking millions of dollars in hell. Virgin souls? You know how much virgin souls in, are in hell? <sighs> That's a lot of money. I mean, that's that's like fucking that's, that's millions of dollars in hell. Virgin souls. I would get so many fucking souls. It wouldn't be funny. Just to stay out of hell, and the ugh, I, I would corrupt so many people. To stay out of hell. Yeah, I would. I would do that. So go ahead and put your answers in text or video below, and we'll see what you say, and people will see what your answers.